What is going on, y'all? How about we just show off some TTMs? Um, not a player error project, just some old-fashioned TTMs that came in. Um, and some trades and some other things. So let's just get to it. I got a little stack here of things that I want to show before I can put them away. Um, so this was a trade from my buddy Sean. Um, JJ Watt, rookie. Um, signed rookie. So this will be going off to PSA DNA. Um down the road so it's kind of funny about this one is if you look on the back down there at the bottom that's a sharpie residue so he signed two of them put them up in a top loader or semi-rigid holder and sent them off and it kind of had some rub off there next I got in two of two um, I'm only going to be showing off one but two of two from Fred the Hammer Williamson um, he was actually a Hollywood actor after he um, got out of the NFL. Um, I forget what movie he was in back in the day. It might have been like The Dirty Dozen or something along those lines. Um, but not the easiest TTM, and he does personalize. I sent a $50 donation and two cards and specifically asked him not to personalize. Um, so that's how I was able to get that. Um, three of three, which is rare for me. I normally only send two. I'm trying to get them all here together. Um, three of three from Mr. Phil Sims. Debating on if I want to do a player era. Um, not all at one time, but um, kind of flip through my cards and see which ones I have. Uh, he was a great quarterback for a very, very long time for the Giants. Um, very iconic player for the um, Giants so that's something I might do you know I've done um, Joe Theismann Leroy Jordan uh, a bunch of other players that aren't in the Hall of Fame um, so I think he's definitely up there on that tier of someone that I would consider um, trying to get all of his player era cards signed next um, two of two which is very very weird because it's it's two of two but he used two different color inks um, Mr. Drew Pearson you see one's in blue one's in black and then he wrote ring of honor on both which I did ask for the inscription which today is what August the 19th so yesterday he was actually nominated for a senior committee finalist for the 2021 Hall of Fame class so Big, big news for Mr. Pearson. I do think he will get in. He has been very, very vocal about being a Hall of Fame um, snub, not snob, snub, if you will, um, over the past year. And I remember specifically last year, the Centennial class, um, he was really hurt, like emotionally was upset that he didn't get in, that they let in that many people and that he didn't get the call to the hall. So I'm hoping he gets the call this year. It's um, him and Mr. Tom Flores, which um, Tom Flores has been on the senior committee a couple times, and he was actually a finalist last year as well, and he got the snub. So I think both of them will get in. It's kind of um, about time. I could only imagine being potentially inducted to a Hall of Fame of your profession and you're a finalist multiple times, like, man, that's got to mess with your freaking head a little bit. Um, so that's that. Kind of went on a ramble there. But I sent four of four to Mr. Jim Marshall, um, these rookie cards. I sent a $60 donation um, for these, I think, one day. Um, maybe not too far down the road. I think he'll be inducted to the Hall of Fame and I think these will be um, pretty sought after cards. And so, and then they sent back three extras just for the old S's and G's. So really cool. I sent four and I got back um, eight, or no, seven. Next, this is kind of like a reoccurring theme, y'all. If you're uh, new to my channel, I'm a big time NFL Hall of Fame autograph collector, um, a lot of prospecting who's going to be in the Hall of Fame one day, so on and so forth. Um, and this guy is definitely one of those guys that I think will get in the Hall of Fame one day. Uh, Mr. Tony Baselli. he has been a finalist a couple times. 
and these actually turned out beautiful and then I forgot that I sent him these and so I actually got two separate requests back um, which I normally don't send a request out until another one comes back um, and then I wait a couple months so on and so forth but these actually came back the same day um, these were a trade I did on sportscollectors.net just two player error cards um, Randall McDaniel and Randy White really happy to add those to the collection two cards um, that I didn't have um, this one's awesome Mr. Jim Backen I believe it's pronounced um, this is his rookie card on this Philadelphia four-time Pro Bowl member of the 60s and 70s all decade team so it's weird he did the inscriptions in one color and he signed it in another and I'll kind of give you a, a tip or I think the trendy word is let me give you a pro tip on uh, what to do if you want to scout um, Hall of Famers I would highly suggest you look at the all decade teams um, so what I did I did this actually a couple weeks ago I printed out the 60s 70s and 80s all pro teams and then I kind of went down the list of who's not in the Hall of Fame you know what I mean if the NFL is saying that you were the greatest of a decade that's 10 years there's dudes in the Hall of Fame that weren't even in the league 10 years so that has to mean something you know so going down this list of the 1960s all decade team you have Gary Collins um, Boyd Dowler, Ralph Neely, Howard Mudd, who just passed away um, about a week ago. Um, Jim Backen, the guy I just showed you. Um, Tommy Nobis, which I believe he passed away, I believe, a while ago. Um, and Eddie Meter, um, Medor, which um, I believe he signs TTM. Um, the 70s, the 1970s, Drew Pearson, Lou Wright. And Dick Anderson, which Dick Anderson and Drew Pearson signed TTM. So why not get those guys? And then the 80s, there's some definitely some names that you'll have heard of. Joe Jacoby, um, Roger Craig, Dave Bunce, John Anderson, Carl Banks, um, and no Nolan Cromwell are just some guys that are part of an all-decades team but not in the Hall of Fame. So like... If you wanted a prospect on potential Hall of Famers, it's definitely some guys I'd go after. Whew. Um, one of my favorite players as a kid, definitely will never be in the Hall of Famer, but will always be in the Hall of Fame of my heart, um, Mr. Haywood Jeffries. Um, has not been the easiest TTM to get. I've sent to him so many times through the years. And so, so happy to get a couple rookie cards signed. Um, I kind of got a tip in one of the forums that someone got them back. And it was funny. They posted the address of the success and then deleted it like within an hour. So I was lucky enough to see it. And I wrote down the address and I got it. So very, very happy with that. Um, it doesn't always have to be Hall of Famers to mean something. Um, to be honest with you, that Haywood Jeffries um, return probably means a lot more to me than a significant amount of the returns that I get, just because I remember um, watching him with the Houston Oilers with my dad when I was a kid. Great, great memories there. Um, Will the Thrill Clark on this Topps Chrome with the Texas Rangers. I haven't done any player era projects of baseball, but he's definitely one that I would consider. Um, my buddy JT, Triple Crown 24, um, gave me this. He sent me a package of some stuff that I bought from him, and he sent me this just out of the kindness of his heart. Two of two from Heisman Trophy winner, uh, 1989 or 90. 1989 Heisman Trophy winner Andre Ware which this one's super cool because I'm originally from Houston and he went to the Houston Cougars and then the last one that I'm going to show in this video um, one of one from Mr. Lynn Dawson which there is 
a lot of speculation in the TTM hobby or TTM world. Come on. It doesn't want to focus. Let's see what we can do here. That his autographs are secretarial or that someone is signing his, his fan mail for him. Um, I'll be honest with you that his signature doesn't necessarily look like his signature of the past, but the Hall of Fame inscription does to me. So I already had this card signed by Jen Stenerud and sent it off to Mr. Len Dawson. So really, really a cool piece here, dual Hall of Famer. And then this card on the back is, well, my camera doesn't want to focus this morning. But you can see right there in the top middle, um, it's numbered to 1,000. So really cool. Uh, I can't imagine how many of those thousands are dual signed, you know, maybe 20, maybe on the high end. So that is that. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, like always, I, I'm kind of getting back in the routine of making these videos. I'm really starting to enjoy um, making YouTube videos and content again. I kind of went through a lull there for a while where it's just kind of like a job. And once a hobby or something that you enjoy becomes kind of like a job or you feel like you have to do it, that's when it's not fun anymore. And that's why you kind of seen a lot of, uh, I guess, a, a decline in the amount of videos and content that I've produced here over the past couple months. So hopefully I'm back. It felt awesome making this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I look forward to reading your comments. So till next time, adios, be safe. Bye-bye. Doodles.